No, no but, I, th I, I still feel positive about it. It just, it, takes, just takes some but time. I think, but I'm disappointed about the slow, the, 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 the slow start. I mm. think it's unacceptable. I mean, I'd hope... No, but I think it's all come at once. It. I think players form, I think, uh, you know, age. Um, sometimes it falls into place there. Uh, you know, if young kids come along and help you out, I mean, I mean, they do sometimes. You know, two or three. Is there, you know, is there any more? Is there any more from from the under twenty three games that you? Oh, because obviously we, they're we, all good. I mean, they, I think. Well, to, Brown, think Brown and Brown looks the part. Yeah. I mean, Brown and had, had a terrible injury and he's coming mm. back. So, so you know, the kids oh, are there. He, was but he played centre half last night and he was good. He, you know, he he, he was. But, he, but there's he was times good. you see when if you if you're not having such a good time in the first team, you don't like throwing kids in. Mm. You think um, you know baptism of fire, yeah. uh, bad reaction. You know, if you played a couple against Chelsea, you know some kids what's never the, get over. What's it, the but, uh, double barrel name that to, like Dominic um, uh, Lewin? He, 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 Lewin yeah. he, he, he scored a good goal. He looked, he? he looked good. Uh, but there were only one player stood out. Yeah. Let be, believe you me, and, and he was head and shoulders stood out. Mm. You know, it it really was uh, a, a, an excellent uh, display by him. Um, on a cold night. On a bitterly cold <laughs> night. On a bitterly cold night. You Someone says you did well. Yeah, did did you have a the electric fire there? No, I had, I had Joe and Duncan at. next to Just me. And, you and, oh, actually, not with that. I got the glow of fame around me. <laughs> fame by association. <laughs> a rose between two thorns. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you try and enjoy the game, and Joe keeps throwing down your ear, you know, Arizona. Well, what's the temperature? Yeah. He didn't and ask you're, you to. And you're thinking, I can't wait to see Vegas invite, did he? No, we don't talk about that. That's off. Vegas, oh, is it off? Vegas is oh, off. Okay, that's it's off hang for on, now. Hang on, cut. Let me tell you, it's off for now, but we're putting together a plan for Ever Everton in the United States, okay. North America, for the next three years. Okay. But it, the timing just wasn't right, I think. That's good, that's good, I like, because it wasn't right for me either. It wasn't right for Ron either. You know, no, that's no. nice, we can fish that in the diaries, David. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do that. We'll let you know. I, I'm available for the next three years. Yeah, no, we'll let you know. Nice one, So, any, any, any more to add about where, you know, where we want to be going this season, or any players that you? Yeah, but another, yeah, another, quick, another quick one. I don't know whether we're going to finish for Europe. You, you know what I mean, league-wise. Do you think over targets in the cup? Okay, I've said this for a number of seasons. Mm. We, you know, the the Norwich game was a disaster. Yeah. I couldn't get my head around it. You know, we're so early in the season. You put, you know, changes. They made ten changes and still mm. beat us. Mm. So get in the act for the next mm. round. Now the Leicester game comes around. If the league results aren't going so well, do you think, well, all right, then we'll put that one on the back burner because we play whoever, you know, Hull, you know, you know, the, the, the results aren't going. Or do you say, no, well, we can actually win the, the FA Cup this season. Oh, we win the FA Cup. Well, well I, I, I hope you're right. We are going to do I, it. I mean, we said it last season. Well, you and, go, and, you you know. well we, had it, we had it, gave it a go. We got to go for it. Yeah. We need a silver trophy, any trophy, yeah, no, I think. To, 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 uh, to cheer us up. Yeah. Uh, seriously. And far too long, David, far too a, long. A trophy changes everything. Mm. You know, that oh, yeah. sounds like a musical, doesn't it? A song. No, I love Wembley. You know? It's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, it's not just a day out, but it's just everything about the place. It puts you on the map, puts you all over the world. Plays see it on the television in in whichever country, and you think, yeah, that's that's a club I'd love to be at. And you know, you can't just um, you know keep letting supporters down and putting my reserve teams out. You just got to say, right, we'll, we'll target this. Mm. Now you get through Leicester or a couple of games, and you, you know you're visiting the last sixteen before you've. You've that, kicked the ball, exactly, not exactly. That's why. Yeah. That's why January I think is so important because I think, I think it's almost like a mission statement. The first week in January, it's mm. it's it's saying what you're going to do. The season starts it, now. It's a, the, but it's not the, just the that. New, the new era the starts now. The new era now. starts new era now. Era We're starts phasing now. out the old. We've looked. The, we've checked. Uh, we've, we've taken the temperature of the past, and this starts now on the, on mm. January the first. Mm. And let's make these decisions. But as as I say, as you know, what, listening to all the fans. There is that feeling at the moment, it's the same old, same old. Is Ronald Koeman really that bothered? Is he just using as a stepping stone? And I think that first week in January, you you bring a couple out, three at least, and maybe there's some mention of the stadium, then everyone will go, yeah, it's happening. Forget about what's happening on the pitch. We've got teething problems. It is happening, and we can see where we're going. What, what's your thoughts on uh, the new sponsor? You know, there's talks of uh, well, some bizarre talk. A, a Kenyan of, bookmaker. A Kenyan bookmaker. That doesn't necessarily strike. Uh, but then he said it's South African. But but uh, they they sponsor Hull, so you wouldn't yeah. sponsor the same. Well, you in can. the same league. You can if you want. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think they. they Is that the kind of no. sponsor that we want in our shirt? Not really. What no, are they called, no, no, by no. the way? Something bet. <laughs> 
Wat, wat zei je? Nou, I'm going to love her of an elephant on the front, so... You know, if you, if you get money, you get money. But, but it's uh, how much money yeah, you get. Exactly, exactly. Well, they're all the things, aren't they, that need... They, see, they're the things that are happening in the background that people don't know about. I mean, we hear rumblings and sponsorships and kit deals and... Well, wouldn't that be great at the, at the AGM if you pull one of them out? It's Chevrolet, it's Land Rover, yeah. oh, it's yeah. whatever, you know, local factory, but, but, it's Land Rover. Mm. But similar with management, you, you can't disclose that. I mean, I hope it's going on and I think it's going yeah. on. I know, I know the, the, you know, there's a lot of people there really working hard to get the club, you know, to compete for mm. top six. You know, we're miles behind on deals, but I mean, that's where you're But you can't keep saying every two minutes, well, they've offered this. Yeah. And, you know, would you do that? You know, it, it just so, when it comes so together. So, where do you think we do you think we're going to finish? Top six, top seven. Where do you think we're going to come? Well, I, I can't see us finishing there. To be honest, I, I, not that I. I think now well, we finish. Who's going to squeeze us I, out I, then? No, well, I think we've done top eight. I think we finished top eight, but a good cup run. I, I'd, I'd be really disappointed if we don't do a good cup run because it just keeps the kettle boiling. And, and, and I keep saying about the longer you're in that, um, you know, winning is is a great. Mm great thing to have you, you know it makes the whole place feel better supporters players um, sponsors as well and if you want to attract, attract better sponsors you can't keep saying well they get knocked out mm. in the third round you know every other year and they yeah. finished out of the top 10 you know we, we've really got to sort so of galvanise in January and as you said over that there's positive things coming out from the board you know fa fantastic but that month you know, not just for the ground. I, th I think Everything. it's I think it's the biggest thing for about the last 25, yeah. 30 years. Yeah, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you know, it, it, it's, yeah. it's that big. I can't, it, it's, un it's unquantifiable, I yeah, think, yeah. how big January is yeah. on and off the pitch. Yeah. It will set the, it could set the tone for the future. And don't forget, you get to like March and the season tickets start getting renewed and all those things. And it, like you say, if you're out the FA Cup and you're drifting towards the end of the season and people stop going to games and then you don't want to attract all the sponsors and all that kind of thing. It's, it, it, as I say, I think it's huge. No, just everyone to deflate it in January. Yeah. You want to galvanise, be positive, and then you know finish the season off, you know positive mm -hmm. and better. And as you said, you know Cumin's only been here two minutes, and and, and it is uh, that first transfer window. You've got players you don't really want here mm. on massive wages. You, you know you want to get them out the club. Are you well, going? Are, are, are you going to move? Has, has he, how well, long has he been here? Yeah, he has been here yeah, six yeah, months. He's six been months. here six months. Yeah. Yeah, but I think again, once the transfer window closes, that's what you've got to get. But you've mentioned Coney and a few others who, who haven't kicked the ball in anger, who are on a lot of money. Yeah. Mm. So, you, you know, in an ideal world, if you could get them all out the door, Cumin would say, they're the ones who want out the door. D these, if we can get them in, it'll strengthen the squad, it'll strengthen the team. But I, I just think the end of the season, you know, you don't want it to, to, to drift, you know, towards the end of the season, you know, early exit in the yeah. cup, uh, league table, poor. You, you know, how are you going to really give the big oomph for yeah. the start of next season? And as I say, the big one will be August. It, you know, that, that's the time. I, I really do think, uh, you know, maybe we've got to take the hit on some players, play over the odds for others, but we've got to get players in. I mean, you know, what a, what a message if you went out for Dini, Van Dijk, you mm. know, uh, get, get Fonte here, one of them, you know. Well, well, anyone. Well, matter, matter of for creativity. You need someone in. Well, well, well do you know what? Snidland and the Pike, I think, are the simplest yeah. two to get. Yeah. I think they're the easiest two to get, yeah. and I think we need the Pie. Maybe well, it, Memphis may be the one now that we've lost the lab with the, yeah, with yeah. the knee. Injury. Well, they're they're, mm. they're simple signings for mm. me. Yeah. You don't. You really don't have to. You just transfer, and you know. Well, hopefully the Dutch shape, the Dutch connection as well. PSV and Cumin, and yeah. you know mm. that'll get me. But we we certainly do. We need to 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 and get, and get Tom Davies in the leading team as well. because yeah. I. I I, you wouldn't believe, I think, the lift that would get, give everybody. Because I think a lot of people just think he's not he's not interested in the youth. And people go, well, if he's not interested in the youth, what, what else is he interested in? Do you know in? someone who, mm. that we, 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 because he's one of us, we, we don't talk about. That's David Unsworth. What a fantastic job David yeah. Unsworth is doing. He doesn't get the credit. We all love him. Mm. We loved him as a player, yeah. as an Evertonian. Mm. But the, the lad soldiers Let's on. How does he motivate his lads? When he's been told that you're not going to get a game in the first team. Yeah, but but he, he said as well, hasn't he? He, he said to recommend that's all you can do as, as a youth coach or under 23 as it is now. Um, these, these are ready. Then if the manager that's says they're not ready. That's what he said last night. He, he you, said, know, you know, the hard part is to go back to the players and say, look, I've recommended He yet. said Tom was man of the match. No mm, question yeah. about it. The other lads played great. They played great as a team against a good, big physical team. But Tom was the man. Of, Tom Davis was the mm. man of the match, and I think that's a, a, a sweeping endorsement. Yeah. 
We've come full circle. We've started yeah. with Tom Davies and we've come back to Can Tom. Can I mention Alex Young? Go on, mention him. Is, is there, do you have time? Of course. Because I, I could time. talk about this for a long time. There's always it, time I for Alex Young. Talk to, I can either talk to you about Alex Young or the death of Leonard Cohen. Which order do you want him in? <laughs> I'll start with Alex no, Young. No, don't. You'll start singing. Let's leave no, no get, get on to him, Alex. Get on to him, Alex. We invited, we brought Alex down uh, last, uh, last Saturday. Yeah. Uh, tremendous, absolutely tremendous reception. Sold out. We did it in Goodison. Mm. 200 people crammed in and Alex showed up. He's in a really bad way. Um, the, the film came out a lot better than, uh, than I had predicted. So I'm a bad judge of my <laughs> own work. You're no Steven um, Spielberg, are you? He was, I'm, <laughs> I'm certainly not. Uh, the response from the fans, you could hear at the end, you could hear grown men sort of disguise and the weeping it was that emotional mm. and he came out and it just you know uh, sometimes we have to look back to gain the strength to move forward and you see a gentleman like Alex Young it's just it's, remember the, no, great, iconic, the iconic. great days yeah, that, yeah, we, yeah. that we used to have and then a few days later we went down to London to our London Cockney Toffees down there, and we had the same thing only without Young. Mm. We had two hundred. But you're talking a Scouse accent, though, don't you? Well, I couldn't understand yeah. what they said. What do I? I'm from Witness. <laughs> what do I know? And, but it was crammed again. Yeah. Uh, absolutely fantastic, and that's the Everton that we love. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. That's the yeah. Everton that the, the, that's the Everton we love. Uh, it was tremendous. Yeah, tremendous but I don't. Response. I don't think it's the supporters, David. To be honest, the fan base is fantastic. You know, you, you you've only got to play an away game. You know, we keep saying it over our five. At Southampton, and mm. you've got six thousand there. It, it, it's yeah. unbelievable. You know, no other clubs like that. And the lack of sort of silverware we've had the last twenty-one years is well. When I say scandalous, I mean you, you try things, but it shouldn't happen. And again, you've got to work bold. Mister Machiri has, has got to help manager players, the club, to be even better. And, and as you've said, it's great bringing those players back. I mean, Alex, Alex was fantastic. My first idol, and then when Bowley mm. come, it was over. But um, they're, they're the icons of Everton Football Club. And not, not where we were, that's where we want to be. That's where we... That's and, where the, and, and the that's old point about the, it is a, is a process. That's where the fans deserve for yeah. us to be. We yeah. should have an, a new Alex Young, a new Alan Ball, and mm. that's, what, that's what we Definitely. should have. Definitely. Yeah, I'll... I'll Reiterate that, David Wells. You want yes. to write a book, you know. You're not bad, is he? <laughs> hey, and change the title. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, let me tell you, they both sold out again. The, the new yeah. one sold out again. Sold out. Are you last counting week. that as an extra book? Of course, it is. It's got okay. uh, hundred new gags in it, and uh, with these, are these bad titles. as the other ones? They're very, very this is, funny. This is They're better. Very, very this is better because um, it's got my signature oh, on. And so, so David's delighted. So and it's and uh, a five it off. There isn't it, mate? Yeah. Hey? What, mate? That's and it's got three extra, three extra chapters in it. You love it's it, Pet. Okay. In fact, I know the author. I'll get you one. <laughs> oh, cheers! Yeah, sorted. Uh, Ron, why have you got a beard? I've got it for um there's a thing called December beard and it's okay. it's a month it's for um, um, bowel cancer I mean big supporter of that and it's just something that I was thinking about I mean you know if you get in touch you know t in touch with me and I thought well well, why not I'll, I'll take over you Ped I, I might end up like ZZ Top but I mean uh, it's just been fantastic I mean you know David's obviously done you a can donation get a, you can get a part time job back, blackless well I'll, <laughs> I'll do it the way it's going if we end up before the 25th I, I think I will go I think yeah. I'll go down to uh, remember TJ Hughes with Pinky I and Perky I, I thought think, you I think were I, fantastic I think I'll we, could, we could do that Ronnie we'll do yeah there's a double yeah. act again you, so, could be, so you, could, you could be like an overgrown elf sort of <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been, you haven't been <laughs> you called one of them for a while have you <laughs> So I mean, I won't, I won't put it on because I'll be demeaning myself. But Pe Pez uh, will sort the sleigh out, and, and that's it sorted. We've, we've, we've got a nice part-time job. Here you know, this, this is nice. For a couple of weeks. Like. This, this is really nice. It not look nice on. No, but if you can do, Pet, if you can put it on at the end and say, yes, I really course. appreciate the donation. It's been absolutely fantastic. I think Greg O'Keefe's putting something in the echo as well, which which is great. But I've got it for a month. Uh, trying to manage much needed funds, obviously for. Uh, for bowel cancer and um you know it's touched a lot of people's lives and, and certainly our family and and others but um well done to david and elizabeth from it's america always, it's always we got a pleasure it. mate but always it's a uh, pleasure. absolutely brilliant and uh, it's typical not just evertonies by the way you know bowel cancer is, is not a color Mench so uh, hopefully we can get as much mention as we can. your dinner as well the last dinner was great success another one mate uh, thank Fantastic everybody success. absolutely thank everybody for coming uh, absolutely brilliant we've done a tribute night for um derek manfield and uh, john bailey 
and um, a certain person not far away from me actually won the Brian Labone Award. I thought he might have brought it tonight to show them, but uh, we've got a photo. We're going to put it in the next one on the it's website. In the cash. In the cash but, uh, but it was it, fantastic. Um, he doesn't know that some lucky kid in Arizona is getting it on <laughs> eBay over Christmas. <laughs> so, make, um, make a fortune. Yeah. But no, uh, it's a beautiful trophy. And, oh. and I do, and I'm honoured to 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 be even considered. Uh, no problem, mate. That, no right. problem, mate. I, um, I, you know, I had the casting vote, and obviously sorted. So somebody voted against me. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, it's when you you gently say, um, "There's, there's, here are the candidates," yeah. and it's funny. You were the only one. Uh, Head and shoulders, mate. Head and shoulders. The Alec Young you're of you're the ready. awards. You're, you're, you're but, uh, you're no, ready. but I like to thank Ped, everyone that come. And we've, the next, night. the next one's in May. But lovely night. Thanks, thanks everyone night. that turned up. And uh, fantastic. Dave, any, any more, any more to plug or sell? Or? I don't plug anything. I was very fortunate to be invited by Radio Four to be on um, with the lovely, lovely Miss Silverton, I can't think, Kate Silverton oh, nice, and Adrian yeah. Charles. I was on that uh, live. We had two, well, Adrian Charles, two not, not so nice, but. million listeners, two million listeners. Uh, half of them couldn't understand my accent, but we yeah, had as many mil- as Toffee two, TV, two, two million listeners, eh? right? And I've had inquiries, now you're going to kid yourself on this, from television companies. One of them has suggested this, an American television company mm. suggested this, that they would pay me money to support Liverpool for six months of the year. <gasps> blasphemy, blasphemy, Davis. Yeah, what amount Fox of money? Oh. What amount? Is there any amount of money? Seriously, oh, there's not enough money in the, the world. The deal would be that you have to watch all Liverpool games and ignore Everton for that period of time. No, no, no. They no. couldn't do it. They couldn't physically no, do I it. I couldn't do it, could I? I'd cheat. I no. couldn't physically do I, it. I would cheat. So when are you going back? <laughs> I'm going back on Wednesday, but before then, I have discovered the Alan Ball film. Okay. Alan Ball uh, reviewing. He was the first um, patron of the Everton collection. And I think you'll be hearing more about the Everton collection in the new year. Hopefully, maybe at the same time. See these exclusives, Ped. Hey, hey. And we've got, um, I hope you're going to run this yes, now. Yes, at the end we've of this. We've got uh, Alan. Tuned. Does he have a choice? <laughs> of course he doesn't. <laughs> of course he doesn't. But, he, uh, but we have Alan, uh, who is a great, uh, a great advocate of the collection, who is just going over a few of the items that are in there. And it's wonderful to see Alan. It was shortly before his death. He he died um, tragically shortly afterwards. So it's nice for people to remember. No, we we saw it before. Fabulous. Uh, Really, you know, worth a look, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Well, stay tuned. You'll see it. And and when are you going to come back and grace us with your presence? I may come in January since this is when the world's (laughs) going to change, isn't it? He's not going back. I think think he's going to phone Elizabeth and say... You've sold me on this. I think he's going to say to Elizabeth... I think you've got to be at the ATM and and you've got to stand up and say what, what's going no, no, on they, no, that would, no, I'd what's sell tickets on? for that yeah. sell tickets because for I'll that. tell you what, what you when anyone say? else stands up they don't they just bat you away well can I ask then that people send in questions to you and I'll be glad to put those forward yeah, there you go what are the questions we should be asking at the AGM what's going on um, <laughs> yeah. yeah what's happening what's happening well yeah there's a lot of questions there's a lot of questions. Well, the big one with the pay, any positives, real positives. They've, they've got to, to be tell, to before, tell without no, They've got to be positive. Well, let me ask. Let's be constructive questions. Yeah. Hmm. Well, very quickly, because this video's probably been on 14 hours now. Uh, what what's what's happening with the new stadium? That's yeah. got to be the number one question. The number one question, and we want an answer. And uh, yeah, that that's the number one. I think. No, no. The number one question is where's Kone? <laughs> no, I know where Coney is. Actually, you know, I know where he is. He's okay. Is he? Is yeah. he? Where yeah. is he? No, my boot. Uh, <laughs> no, the it? first the first question is stadium. Stadium. What's the decision? When's it going to be yes. made? Right. Stop messing us about and tell us when there's a stadium. Next, next question. Um, can we have safe standard? That's a very Genuinely. Good one. Genuinely. Yeah, because last last year, last year, Bill Kerr was asked the question and he just battered it away like like ah. the person who asked it didn't matter and I, I don't think that's a good I think that's a good sign because I understand why but does that relate to Goodison or does that relate no, it to would, a new it stadium would, I think Goodison needs it but I, new, th- I, think, but I think a new stadium realistically well, you need to look well, at well the, the question stadium. would be why why aren't Everton involved in the talks because they've sort of said we don't and I, un- I understand I know it's a very sensitive it's subject it's a very sensitive subject I know subject. it is but we need to start asking those questions because the atmosphere at Goodison is, it's not very good. And I think that's something that could make it good. And I certainly think it should go on a new stadium. I think what well, make it good if we get a, a side that plays and a side that plays with heart 
and a, and a side that always demonstrates that it's doing its best. Yeah. That's what we expect as Evertonians. We expect effort. Well, we don't always expect the best footballers. Mm. I mean, you know, we've had yeah. some good ones in our time, but we expect e effort. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I think the two managers for me, which again, Mourinho and Wenger, said going to Goodison is the most intimidating mm. ground when they're up for it. Well, what more do you need? Yeah. And, and that's why it disappoints me, you know, the Man United game. You know, when Arsenal come to town, you, you know, let, let, let's make it a bear pit again. I mean, yeah. Goodison, whether it's under lights or not, that crowd is scary. Mm. It really is. Do you and, remember and the tackle of Neville and Ronaldo? Yeah, yeah. and I thought how that. But I thought, mm. I thought on Sunday the Barry tackle on uh, and, on, uh, on Zlatan, uh, and everyone just went, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But did you, and did you see it on the match of the day? Yeah. I, I mean, it was it was a right one. Well, you know yeah. what I mean? I wanted, this is going to be the last thing. This last thing, but we it, again we've come up before about leaders. Why didn't it, nobody go mental when uh, Rocco done that on on uh, Garner? Well, why, again, why wasn't there a big kick off and that sometimes I know it's not gently I know that's not gently I know we shouldn't yeah. be saying it but I'll say it why didn't someone steam in and grab him by the throat mm. and and, mm. and get everyone going and get Goodison to be a bear pit mm. because everyone just went oh yeah. that was a bad tackle that was a bad tackle yeah but only it? for a dresser gay I mean, if that had been De La Feu, he'd have done like three fifths yeah, and a yeah. forward row. You know what I mean? It was only that he's, he's a brave kid and, and he's very, very lucky he never look broke it. his leg. Look because, it. yeah, but as you said, with the, with the two-footed, I mean, you should have steamed in. And, and again, he, you know, Oliver, I didn't think was the best, to be no, honest. And then when you look at him, it, it, I'm not saying it influences him, but, but you know, yeah. he, he's just looked at that instant. You're he thinking, knows he's he got him around the neck. But he yeah. knows he and, doesn't and have to make a decision. Ex then. Exactly. Look at the Man City. But, but because you're too nice, yeah. you think, well, hang on, if I show him the yellow card, that's enough. Look at it's, Man it, it's not enough. Look at Man know, City versus um, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Decisions had to be made because yeah. he was coming together and he was arguing yeah. and was fighting, and, and it's on Sky. He didn't have to make a decision on yeah. Sunday because yeah. we didn't ask him to. Yeah. But you know, we've we've talked uh, in this somewhat, uh, hopefully constructively, mm. but we've been uh, we've taken things apart mm. so far. Oh, this is a six part mini series. No, we, this day. No, we've taken things apart. But what I've just realised as we've been talking now, what the season so far has given us is a hero. We've got a Drissa Gay, but we've only got one. But we've mm. got one that we never had before. We've mm. got a genuine Goodison mm. hero. And I and I thank yeah. I thank for that. I thought when you were looking at me uh, like that, I thought you were oh, going to say are, me then. You are. Oh well, I, I, he's you cracking. Are. I thought he was going to start singing. I, I just wondered, you know, behind that beard, <laughs> will the real Ronnie Goodless come out? <laughs> I'm, yeah, looking, yeah, I'm looking forward to January is going to be a good month. I'm going to say the 30 days, but well, I don't know when I'm going to do the shaves yeah. yet. That might be a bit of an occasion anyway. I'll, I'll tell you about that. that yeah. um, could be live. Um, no, <laughs> no, but you're right. But again, no, I think we've covered a lot tonight. We have I, I, covered I think, a lot. Think, we've covered quite good. a lot. And, and I think we've been very good for Ped, haven't we? To, to let him have his say. <laughs> Great not having Baz here, wasn't yeah. it? Oh no, I like no Barry. tongue in cheek, tongue in cheek. I like Barry. Baz, Baz, Baz but was I thinking, like, but, I like this but, we got, as well. but I think when Barry sees it, he'll think, "Is he made redundant?" Well, ba see, ba Barry's back. Barry's when you back click a survey and you have to give your age, Baz is in that age, your age range. Yeah, I'm not in that age range. <laughs> <laughs> so it's when you serve, are you? Yeah, he's in. So yours. he's in his forties then. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. In, I'm, I'm still well. Old, old normal services will be I am thirty-eight on Thursday. So just before you go back, card. 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 And yeah. be, be put and it on there. We, we still take checks as well in this country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we sorted me out. That, oh, that's, that's uh, is that it. Now, don't forget the. Uh, oh, well, don't, you know what I mean? Oh, I'll, be, you, I'll be sorted. Oh, you, right. Alan Ball. Alan Ball to follow. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Dave, Mr. France, Doc, Dr. France, <laughs> Dr. France. Ronnie Goodless, as always. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Alan Ball. Enjoy. The summer of 1966 was the most important time of my life. Not only did I win a World Cup Winners Medal for my country, but I joined what I still believe to be the greatest football club in the world. When I signed for Everton, I knew that it was a club with a rich and proud heritage and that it was well supported. But the truly magnificent passion of the fans and the pride of everyone connected with the club still took me by surprise. During almost six years at Everton, I am proud to claim that I contributed to the incredible history of the club. But mine was a bit part when you consider the bigger picture, the complete Everton story. 
founder members of the Football League and subsequently more top flight campaigns than any other club is something that everyone with a feeling for Everton is justifiably proud of. A favourite song of the Evertonians is called If You Know Your History and I believe that more than any other group of supporters in the world the Everton fans do know their history and now we have a chance to obtain it and share it. I was delighted when the Everton Collection Charitable Trust invited me to be their patron because the task they have set themselves is to preserve and maintain the history of this great club and make it accessible to those who matter most, the people. The assembling of the David France Collection is a wonderful story in itself and to learn how it developed from a box of programmes to the greatest collection of football memorabilia in the whole world is fascinating. To view the collection is to walk through evidence history. It's an incredible journey. It's an incredible collection. David France was just seven years old when he got his hands on his first Everton programme. Unfortunately, soon after, he went into isolation hospital with scarlet fever, a life-threatening disease in those days. When he eventually came home, he was devastated to find out that all his possessions had been incinerated and he'd lost his beloved programme. It was lucky for him that a benevolent neighbour took pity on him and replaced it with a new one from Goodison Park. From then on, he kept all his subsequent programmes under his bed in a shoebox. Thirty years on, he was running an oil company in Houston, in Texas, and he took a call from his mother. Shall I throw all your old programmes away from under your bed, she asked. No, send them over to me, was the reply. And that's how it all started. David took over 25 years to assemble 10,000 rare, museum-quality, historically important items surrounding Everton Football Club, and all this living over 7,000 miles from Merseyside in a period when the internet was never even thought of. David's collection traces the family tree and bloodline of Everton Football Club and football on Merseyside over a 130-year period. There are over 6,500 programmes in David's collection that represents 90% of all the games involving Everton. The sequence of home programmes is unbroken for an astounding 85 years and includes programmes from every game played by Dixie Dean and every match watched by Sir John Moores. In total, there are over 100,000 programme pages representing a week-by-week -week diary of 20 million words throughout Everton's history. The earliest home programme is the 1886 fixture, Everton versus Astley Bridge at Anfield, whereas the earliest away programme is the 1888 fixture, Stanley versus Everton at Walton Stiles. There are home programmes for every game in the inaugural 1888-89 season, including the club's first league fixture with Accrington. The 1889 programme for the match with Newton Heath is Manchester United's earliest known programme, while there are also over 1,000 issues of the joint Everton-Liverpool programme published between 1904 and 1935. One of the most cherished parts of the collection are the 29-minute books detailing every decision taken by the club's directors between 1887 and 1964. Every significant event in the club's history is documented in what David calls the Everton Scriptures. Those including the founding of the Football League, the famous rent dispute and split from Anfield, the construction of Goodison Park, the selection of the first club colours, red with pale blue trim by the way, and the signing of Dixie Dean and hundreds more. The collection boasts 55 medals awarded to Everton players since 1890. These include nine league championship medals and five FA Cup winners medals. Indeed, Everton were the first club to present league championship medals to their players, an eight-point star with a liver bird insert in 1891. There was no Liverpool FC in those days. The collection also boasts Dixie's first and last medals won playing at Everton. There are literally thousands of season tickets and match tickets in the collection, including all of Everton's 19 appearances at Wembley. The sequence of season tickets from the first 16 seasons are outstanding, including the 1881-82 season at Stanley Park, the 1882-83 season at Priory Road, the first season at Anfield in 1883-84, the inaugural league championship campaign, the first championship season 1890-91 and the first season at Goodison Park 1892-93. to 
David's collection has hundreds of rare photographs, too, dating back to 1891 and including the first Everton team and the first Everton committee. Of course, postcards were the fun way to communicate in the early 20th century, and the collection has many rare oddities. One of David's favourites is the photograph of Captain Jack Taylor with goal scorer Sandy Young after Everton's first English Cup final triumph in 1906. First aid covers, cigarette cards and bubblegum cards also adorn the collection. The face of Dixie appears on 28 cigarette cards more than any other player, while the first bubblegum star way back in 1956 was none other than Dave Hickson. Without doubt, David's favourite section of his collection, though, is the one-of-a-kind items he's collected over the years. What about the original tender document to build Anfield, or the original quotation for constructing the Goodison Road stand by Archibald Leach? There are over 200 letters from over 80 clubs the oldest receive was from Aston Villa in 1888. David was mesmerised when he found the original Everton training register from 1931, containing over 10,000 autographs, or the contract to sell Alec Young, the Golden Vision, to Glen Torren in 1968. And how about Gordon Lee's match report against Chelsea in 1978, when Big Bob Latchford scored his 30th goal of the season? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the David France collection, and it has been rated by Christie's as the greatest of its kind relating to one football club. Our mission is to acquire the collection from David, and once this has been done, Everton will donate their own impressive archive to create the unique Everton collection. This will then be housed in the Liverpool record office so that future generations of Evertonians, football fans, and in fact people from all over the world will be able to enjoy forevermore the contribution that this magnificent football club has made to the game of football and, just as importantly, to the social history of this great city. It has been my privilege and pleasure to have introduced you to what will be another first for Everton Football Club. All you need to do now is sample it for yourself. And it, you know, your history, it's enough to make your heart go. Oh, we don't care what the red side say. What the heck do we care? Cos we only know that there's gonna be a show When the Everton boys are there